Adam. Okay, we'll see you straight ahead. Thank you. Tonight, a bill that would give renters more protection from evictions in Colorado is headed to the state Senate. It just passed the House today. And while renters' rights advocates are backing the proposal, some think this goes too far. Let's turn to 11 News reporter Matt Kroschel. He's live in downtown Colorado Springs this evening. Matt, you spoke with an attorney who deals in renter and landlord disputes every day. Adam, Colorado legal services advocates are working hard to make sure renters understand the rights that they have. And they are watching this legislation closely because of the potentially large impact it will have on evictions. That is, if it becomes a law. Would increase tenant protections and provide them with uh, some firmer protections in the law regarding when they're, for what reasons their tenancy can be ended. Attorney Clinton Albert believes adding these additional protections for renters is a step in the right direction and banning landlords from evicting a tenant simply because they want to raise the rent substantially is a key change. I think it's important that uh, these steps be taken uh, to protect renters uh, in Colorado Springs and across the state. Renters like Lynn Murphy, who attended a renter's rights presentation Tuesday night, are learning about the protections they already have and what could be coming. I think it would be good to have some protections, more protections in place. The bill prohibits a landlord from evicting a residential tenant unless there's just cause. That can include the tenant not paying for rent, for example. But it also goes a step further. But it does provide tenants with additional protections for what are called a no-cause eviction and would require, from my understanding of the bill at this point, would require relocation assistance be provided to tenants whose landlords are seeking to end their tenancy without a reason. While this legislation works its way through the Capitol, renters and landlords are watching closely because these changes would impact them all. Tonight, I reached out to the Colorado Retail, or Realtor Association, who's spoken out against parts of this bill. They are also calling for some changes, including language that would make the end of a lease or a contract grounds for a no-fault eviction. Live in Colorado Springs, Matt Kroschel, KKTV 11 News. A bill we'll keep tracking. Matt, thank you. Let's get to this 11 breaking news alert. Tonight, the parents of a baby who authorities say died from fentanyl are preparing to be sentenced in a couple of months. Court records show the pair was found guilty of child abuse resulting in that child's death. Court papers state that 